what the lesson is today is emphasis, power, energy, speed, strength in what you're doing. So every movement in your kata should be that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take those two movements, we're gonna take the front kick and the straight punch, and we're gonna put a lot of emphasis behind it. But you guys play baseball? When you're up at bat, you hold the bat pretty much like this, right? When you swing the bat, you, when the ball's coming, what do you try to do? Do you just try to just bring the bat out nice and slow and try, maybe try to hit it? Or do you swing really hard and try to hit the ball? Which one do you do? You swing hard to hit the ball, right? So why wouldn't that same concept be in karate? So when you're doing that block here and do the kick, it should be just like if you were swinging that bat. You just don't want to just kind of go through the motion and, and really just kind of not do anything. You want some emphasis behind it, some strength. You see, you see the difference? So when you do your counters, you should be doing every movement just like that. And I want you to just let them fly out there, nice and strong, nice and hard. But I want you to put a lot of oomph or power behind it. If you had to defend yourself and kick somebody, would you just put your leg out there or would you really try to kick them to stop them? Yeah, you'd really try to kick them and stop them. So when you practice your counters, you gotta practice them the same way. Because if you practice like that, then you'll execute it that way when you need it. But if you're just a person, oh yeah, okay, I'm doing a block, and I'm doing a kick, and I'm doing a block, and I'm doing a kick, you're not gonna get anything out of it. With that in mind, I want, I want to see some emphasis and strikes behind those techniques, or those Sanchen strikes, and the, you know, the Waiokis. Even the block should be treated the same way. A lot of effort, boom. I mean, I should do it so fast you can barely see it. Because now you're putting, you're putting the energy behind it. Technically, you know the movements. It's undisputed, we know that. But it's what we do with the movements that makes it different. It's how we feel all the energy that we put behind it. If uh, a musician's playing notes and they just kind of go through them and, and just play the notes by itself, that's one thing because they're practicing scales, they call it. But if they put a little emotion behind it, a little bend and uh, subtlety to it, that makes it creative. That makes it something different. So we're taking something that's normal and then we're ex expanding on that. So Sanchen is what we know, that's normal. And the way we expand on that is through our energy and spirit. That's the whole mind, body, spirit, the three conflicts. Is, is mentally, we know what we're doing. Physically, we're uh, telling our body to do it. But then our emotion is what gives us that energy and the, and the effort that we put behind it. Does that make sense to everybody? So when we think of San Chin, that should be transcended through any other kata or kumite or bonkais that you do. So that's the way you got to kind of approach it, is that, okay, I know how to do the movements. Now, how do I really emphasize and put this emphasis behind it? So it, it, it can be effective and it can be something that could help me. Ideally, and the ultimate goal is to get these techniques nice and strong and to be effective with your movements. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Live Dandy.